the face of grave injustices and an emotionally charged society, what should a Christian do? Can Christians be a part of peaceful protests? What would Jesus do in the face of injustice? Is protesting a sign of disrespect for authority? What should Christians say? How should they act? And what can they do for justice? These questions will guide our discussion on this topic. Welcome to Edify. And this topic might surprise you as I usually do not delve into political or social commentary. But stay with me. You might think this doesn't concern you, but you would be wrong. The subject of protests is more relevant to you than you might realize. In my research into this subject, I skimmed some sites for information on contemporary protests and found some very interesting examples. One particular YouTube video footage became of interest. Unfortunately, I do not have permission to use any of the footage in this video. So I will briefly describe what is in the video titled Clashes at Pride Rally in Central London as much as meet counter protests. This video was posted on June 29, 2024. To begin with, the clash was between a group of Christians who were preaching the gospel on the streets of Piccadilly in central London and revelers of the Pride March. I want to attribute this to Urban Pictures UK who published the video, subtly avoiding mentioning the Christian protest against the Pride March. Their description read, footage of revelers clashing with a small group of people against the Pride March in Piccadilly in central London this afternoon, June 29. A heavy police presence was on hand to contain the situation. This subtle wording clearly shows how the subject of protests and Christianity are often avoided. Well, this directly thrusts us into the deep end of our discussion. Our society's perception of a Christian asserting their beliefs are often misinterpreted as forcing their beliefs upon others. Like in this clip, Christian protesters blocked from marching up Yonge Street. You can hear one protester say, Christians do not intimidate. Christians do not harass. You are not Christians. In reality, Christians were simply occupying the same space that the other party was protesting on. One group thought they had the right to protest, while Christians were not expected to stand up for their rights. On the other hand, I have heard political activists and protesters against injustices castigate Christians and other religious leaders for remaining silent and not joining in protests. In this clip, a young man from Kenya lashes out against the church for endorsing a government widely viewed as one implementing unjust policies against citizens. He is heard saying the church would be the next target for the Gen Z protesters. To Kimaliza ku reject a finance bill sent to a government, the next victim that you're going to deal with is the church. This dilemma is not one I can possibly address in one episode of Edify. But in this episode, I will attempt to answer the question, should Christians protest for justice? While the Bible does not specifically address protests, we can learn from how God responds to injustice and what he has called his followers to do. The word protest in the Bible is used mostly to mean, one, to bear witness, to bear witness as a Christian involves living out and proclaiming the teachings of Jesus Christ through one's actions, words, and character. It means embodying the love, grace, and truth of the gospel in daily life, serving as a testament to the transformative power of faith. This witness is not confined to words alone, but extends to acts of kindness, justice, and compassion, reflecting the values 
of the kingdom of God. Bearing witness includes sharing personal experiences of God's work in one's life, offering hope, and encouraging others. Ultimately, it calls for a life of integrity, where one's faith is evident in all aspects of living, inspiring others to seek and know Christ. The Bible teaches, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Number two, to testify. Christians can share their personal experiences of God's justice and peace during protests, demonstrating how their faith informs their stance. In whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In testimony, be it in a protest must be all about Christ. Number three, protest means warn. Christians can warn against actions and attitudes that perpetuate injustice, reminding others of the biblical call to love and justice. Number four, protest means to exhort or admonish. Christians can exhort protesters and authorities alike to pursue peace and reconciliation, encouraging non-violence and understanding. If we must stir anything up, let us consider how to stir up one another to love and to good works. Number five, it means to charge or to give warning. Christians can charge others to uphold righteousness and truth, warning of the moral and spiritual consequences of injustice. The question every Christian should ask before deciding to involve themselves in any kind of protest is whether their involvement has a bearing on the kingdom of God or not. Does protesting have any impact on the eternal destinies of souls? The Christian's primary call is to bear witness for Christ and to proclaim the gospel of the kingdom. Yes, our call is to stand against evil and not to succumb to it. As a Christian, you and I must take every possible approach to uphold righteousness. That includes witnessing the truth, testifying, exhorting, and warning. Know this, dear Christian, that there will be opposition and resistance, but stay focused on your primary calling. Resist the devil, and he shall flee. So, should a Christian protest for justice? The answer lies in understanding our role as witnesses of Christ's love, justice, and truth. We must evaluate our actions and intentions, ensuring they align with the teachings of Jesus and the principles of the kingdom of God. In the next episode, we will delve deeper into the topic, under what circumstances would Christians be involved in a protest? This will help us further understand when and how Christians can effectively participate in protests while maintaining their faith and witness. Thank you for watching. If you found this discussion insightful, please like, share, and engage with us in the comments. We would love to hear your thoughts and experiences on this topic. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on our latest episodes. God bless.